Yo, Shalom. All praises to the Most High. Yehovah, Yehoshua, this is Sound Somewhere Why Be Why. Engineers, artists, I'm about to help y'all today. I'm about to give y'all some real jewels that y'all can take and really run with it. All the new coming engineers and all the artists, because communication is very important when you're dealing with people. It should be a common sense thing, but everybody don't got that, man. So now, this is from my 23 years experience, man. You know, I was an artist first, thought being an engineer. So let's get straight to the point. The 12 tribes. Should an engineer delete your music? <clears throat> they can if they want to. Um, should an artist get their stems during the session? Yes, you can. Yes, you should. Just in case you might want to take it to another engineer to record and get it mixed and mastered. I mean, get it mixed and mastered, or just have you know some have you know have your stems for future. I mean, for future future situations like that, to take it to another engineer to get it you know mixed and mastered, or you like forget it. I just record somewhere else because you got to keep in mind that every artists are not loyal to engineers, and engineers not loyal to rap, you know artists. Some artists go to certain studios and never come back. I dealt with artists where I dealt with, you know, uh, the vibe seemed good. You know, the work seemed good, but they never came back. You know, sometimes people don't come back for many reasons. They might want to come back, but sometimes they can't come back because, one, they might not have no money. They moved out of state, you know. Uh, maybe a studio is too far for them. There's been many reasons why people might can't come back to the studio. And what happens is that three years pass by. They call you like, yo, can you, you got my music? Can you send me? Can you still send me another uh, MP3 of that? Or can, can you send me those stems that you recorded? You know, and, you know, based on the engineer, if they got it, different engineers have a different time span. You know, um, you know, I used to have about a year. If you haven't came back in a year and, and, and got the music, you know, I delete it. Not because I want to, because uh, it takes a lot of memory because I'm still doing music for a lot of artists. So if you're not coming to the studio no more and you you doing something else with another studio or especially I see you go to another studio or something like that, well, I don't need to keep your music, you know, uh, get your stems, you know. Um, I don't want to delete them, but get your stems. Now, let me speak for myself. I'm not going to speak for every engineer. Let me speak for myself. I like to keep artist music. Um, but I give, I give a certain amount of time, about a year. If they haven't came in a year, I delete it because of memory. Um, uh, what I prefer to do is give them stems that, you know, once the session is over, if they, if they ask for it, even if they call later on down the road and say, yo, you know, do you got the stems for this music? I'll give it to them. But this is the thing though. This is when I will charge you. Say you recorded 20 songs, 15 songs, 10, whatever it is. And you say, Hey, can you send me the stems for all those songs? See, that's my time. I'm going to have to go to each song, take all the plugins and effects off. I'm going to have to normalize everything back to regular levels and everything. It's based on what doll you have, though. Some dolls make this easy, quick. Some dolls, it, it, you know, it, it, it's, it's a little different. So we make sure all the plugins and everything gets off, you know, uh, you know, you know, uh, all that type of stuff. Because you want to, because an engineer that really wants your music right, they would sing you the stems properly. They would sing you the stems properly. So that the next engineer can receive those the right way to get a mix. Because if they if you don't send them properly, then the artist will be hitting you back and say, well, you know, the engineer said he wasn't sent right, A, B, C, and D. And I'm the type of person where, uh, you know, I'm a perfectionist. I like to send people stuff the proper way, even, then, even when they don't understand it. Even when they don't know it. Even when they don't even know they need this. And sometimes some artists be in their feelings and emotions, you know, why the files is too big? Like, they, they don't get certain things, bro. You know, it, it's it's not everybody, but it's some people. So, you know, I'm going to send the, the stems properly. You know, 48 hertz and 24-bit, you know, normalized levels, no effects on it, dry, raw vocals. So the engineer can receive them, and when they drop them in, they all match up, you know. And that's what I do. So... 
I have to take all that stuff off. The plugins, effects, turn everything off. Uh, again, it's based on what doll you have. And then once I do that, I, I normally charge a dollar a song. That's it because it's easy to do stems, but it's still my time that I got to stop to export 10 songs to you and still put them in a, a big folder because they gonna be they will be big files. They weigh files. So they will be large files. I got to compress that folder and I got to send it to you online through, you know, uh, through Google Drive and then Google Drive is going to take a minute to load up too. So the point is that the more songs I got to send at one time, I'm going to charge you. I'm going to charge you a dollar a song. That's what I do. I don't be petty with it because just to make some money from it, but you you paying me for my time. A dollar a song, you know, some people, I don't know what other engineers do, but if you got 20 songs, that's $20. You know, you can have your stems, you can have all your music. Now, if you got one song or two songs and you say, hey, man, can you send me those stems? Yeah, I, I won't charge you. I give, I give you those stems with no problem. But when it comes to a whole bunch of songs, like five songs and more, I got to open up this song, turn everything off, set everything back to default, boom, 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 turn the effects off and make sure everything clean and boom, 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 then export it out. Put it neatly in the folder. Boom. Go to the next song. Open up the song. Do the same thing. Export those out. Put them in the folder. Boom. Then I got to compress that folder. The compress, because the folders, like I say, the folders are large. It takes a minute. So, so artists, man, anytime you go to a studio, man, I say always request your stems just in case, one, you don't come back, two, you have a copy of your stems just in case you might pop off one day and, you know, whoever you're dealing with at that time, they nine times out of ten, they probably want to remix it over for themselves to have a copy of it. So now you have the stems for it, you know. Um, and also, an engineer don't have to give you no stems. They can keep it, too. You know, some people say, well, it's, 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 it's the artist, right? You know, it's up and down to that, you know, when it comes to law stuff, you know. But I don't do all that petty stuff, man. I give people they stems, man, because they paid me to do a business, a job for them, and I did it for them. You know, if you if we don't connect and we don't communicate or, or you know, uh, connect with each other properly, man, you know, good, find another engineer, man, you know, that I hope that y'all connect a certain way because, but end of the day, I'm, I'm about business, I'm about communication, and I'm about having, a, trying to get an understanding of each artist that I deal with. But end of the day, it's just some people you just can't please no matter who you are. No matter what it is or who you are, some people you just cannot please, man. I'm telling you, I, I dealt with a few. And I say, like, I recorded about literally by probably almost 300 artists since 2000, since 99, 1999. And I say I almost, almost 300 artists, I can say probably 10 was bad apples, man. Probably 10 artists. It was a bad connection where they had to get the, had they had to get the F on, man. They had to bust a move real quick, you know, uh, you know, to that type of vibe, like 10 artists. Now, as far as the artists, I don't know. They, you know, we never had an issue, but some artists might don't like the style or the approach or what I do as an engineer. But overall, most artists do, you know. So end of the day, it's about the connection of people. But when it comes to business, you know, it's 90 percent business, 10 percent music. So. You you know give them give give these artists they stems man, um is it is it the engineer's job to to school you and, and mold you and guide you and let you know what you should and shouldn't do nah man you know even though I do it as an art uh, engineer but it get draining and you know and and sometimes you know uh, when you dealing with some artists who don't who's not on that certain level who's not on that certain level of knowing certain things or, or knowing what to do when they come in the studio to record with you. You know, they don't understand certain things. You got to you got to you got to school them, let them know, and then sometimes based on who you're dealing with, if you let them know, it, it, they get they get offensive and get emotional. They can't be told nothing. The ego start kicking in, and that's when the shit go down go downhill because now you piss me off as an engineer because you make it something difficult that I'm trying to help you on. So if you don't care about your music, why the, should I care about your music? You understand what I'm saying? You like it, I love it. That's the thing about it. But overall, I want an artist's music to be great. I, I want them to, to have, you know, have you know come out with the dope stuff because I'm doing the work. I want my name to ring where it say, "Who did this? This is why YBY why did this." That matters to me. You know, why book the session for? You know. So yeah, that that's how it goes with the stems, man. 
give artists they stems, man, if they ask for them, you know, um, and, but it's not an engineer job to give them to you, you know, it's, you know, and yes, they can race them out. They drive because they don't have to keep your stuff. It's not their job. It's not their duty. You know, uh, that take a memory. Expensive SSD drives cost a lot. You know, the, the, the biggest memory drives now were like two, five, what, four or five terabytes. Um, people have all type of engineers save, a, save it, me, songs. It's a lot, man. So, you know, memory, sometimes it could be up to one gig, you know, two gigs, you know, 300 megabytes, 200 megabytes, some smaller than that, but it's based on, you know, how much you record it and it adds up. And eventually they have to start cleaning out things because now they can't save music uh, for other artists. But that normally don't happen. What they normally do is buy them another drive. So they got to buy another bigger drive because they keep in all these artists' music. I like to keep the artists' music because when they hit me up, you know, I'm going to tell you what happens sometimes. You know, artists might have it came in two years and then they pop up and say, hey, I want to come and start working on mixing on this and mixing on that. All right, cool. Uh, I still got it, so we still can get the work done, you know, uh, you know, they decide I want to get it mixed now, they pay me to get it mixed, you know, they decide I want to work on it, we can we, we can work on it, but it's, it's levels to that, because if you disappear two, three years and nobody haven't seen you, you know, it's like, uh, you know, there's no communication there, man, you know, you could have went on, went on about your life, who knows what it is, who knows what's going on, man, so, that's a tricky situation, man. You know, you got to you got to treat this business like, you know, the same way you do your job, man. You let your job know that you're not coming in. You know, you, you can you network, you communicate with people. Man, what's going on? Why why be why? You know, I know I have been to the studio, man, but you know, uh, you know, but I still I got plans to come soon, man. I just got to get a couple of things together. Some artists don't do that. They don't let you know nothing. So, we can't we we can't read your minds. We ain't keeping your music and we definitely not calling you hitting you up. Trying to baby baby you about your own your own shit, man. It's not happening. It's not happening, man. And 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 this is why people learn got to learn the business. Got to learn the business. It don't matter if you're an artist, you know, engineer, producer, you know, mastering engineer, sound designer. All this come with business communication, you no, know? and all that stuff take up a lot of memory when you saving it. And this is why some people delete it out their drives. Should they let you know? They should, but they don't have to. They're not entitled to let you any know anything about your music you recorded with them because you're supposed to get your stems before you leave the studio. So now you if you don't if you decide not to come back to the artist, I mean to the engineer, you can get it mixed and mastered somewhere else, you know? Uh but yeah, some engineers will charge you based on how much work they gotta do. This is why why be why peace.